Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Thursday, September 3rd. Big sell-off yesterday, and then we pretty much chopped around for most of the session today. Uh, we had a lot of shorts move into the market yesterday and today. No surprise given the breakdown that we saw in the indices, but uh, in the last hour, we had a nice little powerful move up back over the 20-day exponential. If we flip over to the daily chart, you can see we closed right at the 20-day exponential. And the way we are set up right here is exactly like we were set up back there in uh, mid-August, right before we went on that nice little run. And tomorrow we have the jobs report. If we have any sort of positive news on the jobs report, we really could see the new shorts get bent over the barrel tomorrow. Um, setup is very, very nice here for a rebound. If we see a red day tomorrow, we're going below 9K at least following the playbook that we see back in uh, June. We had the same sort of thing happen. We had a big sell-off, nice rally back to the 20-day exponential, and the next day it went red, and then the drop uh, over the next uh, month or so happened. So let's see what happens tomorrow. RSI bouncing off 50 again, and as you can see, possible double bottom in stochastics. So it's probably all going to rest on the back of the jobs report tomorrow. But uh, let's jump into some stock plays. ASTM, we've got a golden cross looming on the chart here. We've got earnings in a week. A lot of positive uh, or potential news slow coming on the stem cell stocks over the next couple of weeks. And ASTM has done very well from this 40 cent area over the last several months. If you look down here, you can see stochastics nicely under 20. This is usually when we want to buy is when stochastics are under 20 and starting to turn up. And even though we've seen this uh, pretty big sell-off over the last couple of weeks, uh, ADX has remained very, very strong here. So that and stochastics say it could be a nice little move here on the near term. First target, 48 cents, but uh, this one usually makes a run to the 50s every time it goes on a pop. So let's see what happens there. OCLR, uh, we issued another trading alert on this one today to, to consider adding back into this one. We actually had a chart break on this one again. And given the move that we saw on UTSI today, it was up 25, 30% at one point. It looks very good. The brand name stocks are getting chased one by one. And the chart just looks very, very nice here. Very strong support at the 20-day exponential. That is at 75 cents. And all the indicators are pretty strong on this one. And we should, with the market up tomorrow, see some nice follow-through on this one. I'm going to move to one plus. Just a quick mention on GMBT, uh, totally frustrating play, but as mentioned before, we're just sitting on this one waiting for the inevitable move. Uh, we still have that large uh, naked short gaming the stock, so it's going to, as said before, take a large press or a large volume day and a nice press release to keep this one going. But uh, downside at this stage looks pretty minimal, but uh, again, we're just going to sit on this one and wait for the move. Yesterday, we were jumping into the gold plays. AGT, Apollo Gold, actually makes money. Profitable play. Nice little extension to the upside. You had the price of gold getting pretty close to the $1,000 level. Has been major resistance over the last year. So we'll see what happens there over the next uh, couple of days. But nice little move in the gold stocks. Our other gold play, CXC, 10% uh, pop, but really had no follow through today, which was the reason for the... Uh, book some profits alert that we sent out just uh, should have been up a lot more a couple of the other plays were up more but sometimes these amex uh, mining stocks take a while to get going and if we see the price of gold finally bust through the 1k mark you're going to see a lot of traders flood into these uh, gold plays so that's the reason to continue keeping them on the radar a uh, new play mentioned really late in the day today but it's one to look for accumulating it's got a very very nice chart cdy Got a little pump on CNBC late in the day, but uh, we got to close above the 200-day moving average. Uh, nice trading range that it's breaking out of here, and it's got a very nice upside move to a dollar 35 that we could see over the next couple of days. Big positive MAC D cross today. Very strong uh, ADX and on balance volume. So this is one would be considered a very very small play. I uh, believe we mentioned we were nibbling tiny 116 in the chat room and then would look to add some more under a dollar ten with 95 cent stops and a dollar 35 target. LBIX leading brands, uh, low float, uh, 
drink play. Low float stocks were on fire today, and this is a stock that's been consolidating nicely. Earnings are in a week and a half, I believe. Uh, stock has been pretty stable in the 35 to 40 cent area. Got a nice volume spike today and a breakout of a range. Target on this one would be a move to uh, 50 to 55 cents. I would look to accumulate this one on dips 40 cents and under with stops at 34 cents. Uh, chart looks very good. All the indicators are very, very strong here. Stochastics, ADX, MACD all look very, very good. Last but not least, quick mention on ELN. They had that court case with Biogen who were suing to say Elon's Johnson & Johnson deal uh, violated their Tasabri pack. Uh, there was about a 99% chance that that was going to get thrown out. But then again, this is Elon. They never win anything. And amazing as it sounds, they lost the court case. They have until September 23rd to uh, address the deficiency with Johnson & Johnson. Probably gets done, but the stock is more than likely going to get slapped down tomorrow. If Elon was in a one-horse race, uh, and they backed the one horse, the horse would break its leg before it made it to the finish line. That's the kind of luck this stock has. Has strong support around the 680 level. If this one somehow manages to see a, a smackdown tomorrow around the $6 area, would probably make for a good uh, medium-term pickup. So we'll be watching that one tomorrow for possibly a scalp nibble and maybe even some uh, January 2010 $7 calls might be a nice pickup here tomorrow. Actually, just looking at the option pricing, if Elon does get slammed tomorrow, it might be uh, there might be some uh, nice option pickups in the leaps, uh, specifically the April, January and April 2010s. We'd probably be looking at the 750s and the $9 ones, $9 if we go to the April. So that's going to be on watch for us tomorrow. So that is it for the video tonight. Uh, all eyes are going to be on the jobs report tomorrow. That is what's going to drive this market. And if we see a nice bounce back, we'll be looking at a golden cross on the 15-minute chart probably Wednesday of next week. So if we're able to hold above this level tomorrow, uh, you the potential for a mega short squeeze tomorrow uh, is quite high, especially if they're able to drive this market up and hold on the jobs report. Uh, we've had a lot of shorts come into the market over the last couple of days. And... Any sort of move back over the 9450 area is really going to panic the shorts out of the market. That's it for the video. See you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.